I'm out here to shoot another video. Uh, this is July 5th, just to show you the corn. The flies are kind of bad this morning, so it might have to be quicker than I wanted to. They're pretty aggressive. But the corn is about three odd feet tall, maybe a little taller. Um, and it looks pretty healthy. We've had really dry weather. Really dry. And maybe an inch of rain in the last six weeks. But the um, forecast calls for maybe two inches of rain this week, which is going to be good for this. The only signs of stress in the corn have been some of the leaves curling. Um, it's been hot. It's been 90 degrees the past few days, past week or so. Uh, the weeds, I've gone through with the roll cultivator twice, and I'm done for now. I mean, I'm done weeding. The pigweed and the uh, lamb's quarter were the issue in the row. But at this point, there's some stragglers in almost every row, but the corn should canopy and basically shade out those weeds from setting seed and whatever gets through gets through and I'm going to have to deal with it next year when there'll be beans and it'll be a little bit more difficult even to, to get rid of weeds but the moisture situation this spring was, was pretty tricky and uh, a challenge so with that out of the way I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how how things look like I said there's about 100 acres here um, in this, well, these two fields here, uh, there's a creek runs along here and south of the creek. Between that and then this field north of the creek here, off into the distance, there's some uh, pasture grass on the hills up there. And then through the woods, there's another 20 acres. But uh, it's a beautiful morning out. Uh, this was planted. About June 1st or so and like I said today's J July 5th so it's been five weeks and uh, things are looking good the birds are out uh, nice and early but the flies are out too well, that's all for now I'm gonna head back in the house and have some breakfast thanks for watching bye